All right, all right. Welcome to my channel. This is Intuitive Empress coming to you with another message. Before we begin, I'd like to thank my subscribers and those who have been watching my videos. I really appreciate you. And I am, it is my hope that you are getting something great out of the videos and that you're really enjoying the content. As, with that being said, please, if something resonates with you, please send a comment. Please like the video. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can see the readings when they become available. All right, so we are going to do Virgo because I did the reading for the month, for the birthday month, and for all the signs that start out with the birthday month. Um, the birthday sign, which was um, Leo. However, with these readings, it's going to be the people who show up and show out for the readings. And you were the second most highest viewed Virgo. So congratulations. And so you'll get your um, video sooner than everyone else. So you will be the first one out as a reward to do that. Now, if someone else of another sign wants to have their video out sooner then you know what you got to do you got to show up you got to show out okay and so this reading is what's up with you what up with you what up what up what up what up with my virgos and so it says someone in your family so what up with you there's someone in your family that is that is a part of what is up with you. What up with you? All right. So, it says here, Karma is a red-headed witch. Yes, she is. So, Karma is coming for someone. And it may be someone in your family. Or someone that you, maybe you see as family. Because they have not been doing you right. That person could be a fire sign. Just saying. Just saying, just saying. Or maybe they're displaying fire sign energy. Doesn't have to be, but for some of you it is. All right. And the next card out is, they underestimated you, Virgo. Someone in your family underestimated you, and karma is coming for them, and is a red-headed witch, and they could be a fire sign. That's what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, ooh, things are falling out. Okay. All right, let me pick up these things from the floor. All right. So. Lies will begin to be revealed. That's why karma's coming out. Apologies are coming. They are, they are. Blame storming. Someone is trying to blame you for the results of their actions. So somebody in your family underestimated you. They're blaming you for their actions. It may be someone in your family. It's going to, going to cause karma to hit them. Lies are going to be revealed because they were blaming you for what they did, but they were lying about it. And then they're going to have to come and apologize. This person or people can't be you if they tried. So some of the blame shaming is that some of these people were trying to be you. They were trying to steal your ideas. They were trying to just you know just take the shine from you and because of that karma is coming hard for them so spirit is saying stop casting your pearls before swine stop telling your telling people what you're doing some of you are going to have to move in secret because you have people that are trying to steal your thunder okay Steal your ideas from you. There are people who are trying to emotionally manipulate you. And that is abuse too. It is in line with physical and mental abuse. Okay? 
And so if somebody in your family, a friend, somebody that's close to you like family, that is emotionally manipulating you, stop casting your swine between them. You might be telling them what's going on. You might be telling them your difficulties. And then they're sitting there and they're trying to manipulate you and manipulate um, things away from you. And when things don't work out for them, they blame you for the results of their own actions. Why? Because they're trying to be you and they're trying to do what spirit gave you to do. And so it's not going to work out for them because it's not meant for them. And then comes the blame shaming. Oh, well, you told me that I should do this. Well, no, I just told you that's what I was doing. And then you tried to do it. Okay. Shine your light in the darkness. Shine your light in the darkness. Dedicate it. Or commit it to someone who is not dedicated and committed to you. That's what's going on right under. Stop casting your pearls before a swine. And dedication does not necessarily mean a intimate relationship. You can be dedicated and committed to your family, to your cousin, to your brother, to your mother, to your aunt, to your uncle, to your dad. If they are not committed to you as well, then you need to cut that off. Okay, for some of you, it's a romantic relationship that you need to cut off, that they're blame shaming you, that they're trying to be you and steal your ideas. Continue being awesome, Virgo, because you are awesome. Celebrate your wins. A lot of times we're hard on ourselves when things don't go right. But then when we do something right and we win, we don't take the time to celebrate it and pat ourselves on the back. Celebrate your wins. It's been a long time coming. Or you've been going through for a very long time. But harmony and balance is entering your life. Some of you are overcoming financial issues. Some of your financial issues was because of somebody in your family, was because of this romantic situation, because someone was trying to be you. And the truth is about to be revealed. Be committed to your success and your self-empowerment. Because someone or someone's is going through a spiritual awakening or you're about to. Anything else for my Virgos? Anything else, Holy Spirit, for my Virgos? All right, I think Spirit is done talking. All right. And I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much. This is What Up With You. What Up With My Virgos. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I'll see you for another reading next time.